Now, speaking of HD, mm. um, the, the, you know, the, 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 there was the long-running format wars between HD DVD and Blu-ray, and, and, and Sony and Blu-ray eventually won out. But a lot of people uh, seem to be reluctant to, to move up to HD, at least in, in the Blu-ray side of things. The cost of the players is still quite high. Yeah. The cost of the movies for... The, and a lot of people don't see the benefit versus, you know, the, 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 the increase in cost. Yeah. Is, is HD over, over um, online going to change that at all? Or are you, are you seeing much demand for HD stuff? Yeah, um, we, we don't. I mean, it's interesting. We, we, um, there isn't that much HD online stuff yet. Um, but there are a few things. And if you present both on our site, for example, assuming there isn't a cost difference, then people will generally pick the HD one over the non-HD, which makes sense because if it's all the same, then why not have it in higher quality? Um, but almost nobody will pay more for an HD copy. So, um, for example, some of the online rental services like Amazon's Unbox, um, they actually have both. So you can actually sort of rent a film, for example, both in HD or non-HD. And usually HD costs a little bit more, and people just don't bother. Um, and so what that sort of points to is that people are actually quite happy with the current status quo. Um, if they can get HD, of course they'll get it, but there isn't a massive desire. They don't need to have it at that higher quality. So I think that's the big problem that HD suffers right now. You know, um, it's so much more expensive, and people are actually quite happy with what they're getting. Um, you know, if you show like for like, people, of course, point out that HD as being a lot better. There's definitely a difference, a very noticeable difference. Um, but is it worth all the extra money? Probably not for most people. Now, I mean, certainly on the broadcast side of things with HD, the main focus has been on um, nature shows and on, on sport, where, yeah. where, the, where the differences actually can make a difference. You know, um, if, if you're looking at a nature show, an, H, an HD picture can really bring, bring whatever the, the presenter is trying to show to life. And with sport, you know, you get a much clearer picture, you get a much, um, much more detailed look at the event. Mm -hmm. um, is, is, is that the same sort of thing as the content that's been generated online? In, in HD? Yeah, to an extent. I mean, I, um, if you, it's slightly more sort of odd in online because it depends on where the content's actually been produced. Um, nature content, certainly, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of HD available or HD ready um, online nature content, and that's very popular. Um, and then there's also uh, a fair amount of, of sort of movie or film content like that. Sports content in general online is pretty lackluster. Um, because of the rights involved, because of the costs involved, um, there's surprisingly little sports content online, sort of really good sports content. So um, it hasn't sort of taken off in quite the same way. But it's the same problem. If you charge for it, then people won't really pay for it. The nature stuff is working because it's basically usually free. Um, so if you go to sites like National Geographic or DiscoveryChannel.com, um, there they have some HD content. And it's all free because it's all ad supported. And there people will absolutely click on HD if they've got a fast enough connection. Now, so finally,